Piner's autobiographical method of Carrere is known as a beginning point for the transformation of individuals. The method of Carrere foregrounds a relationship between narrative, life history, and practice, and provides opportunities to theorize particular moments in one's educational history, to dialogue with these moments, and examine possibilities for change. Carrere returns educational experience to the person who lived it, so that the experience can be examined for latent and manifest meaning, and the political implement implications of such reflection and interpretation. In doing so, Carrere discloses new structures in the process of naming old ones, understanding and acting upon the past to influence the future affords growth and transformation for the intellectual. There is no better way to study curriculum than to study ourselves. According to John Dewey, every experience affects, for better or worse, the attitudes which help decide the quality of further experiences. Dewey believed that teachers must be aware of the possibilities inherent in ordinary experience and that the business of the educator is to see in what direction an experience is heading. It is impossible to see the direction of experience without reflecting on what the teacher brings to the experience from their past. To be able to see the direction of an experience is heading the educator to understand his own history, his or, own, or her own history. Maxine Green, a well-known professor of teacher education, believed that at the core, teachers need to become learners themselves and start to ask questions of themselves. The method of Carrere is an autobiographical means to study the lived experience of individual participants in curricular conversation. According to Søren Kierkegaard, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. Carrere originated in the 1970s. It is a Latin infinitive of curriculum, and it brought back individuals' experience to the study of curriculum. How is the future present in the past, the past in the future, and the present in both? There are four steps to Carrere, the regressive, progressive, analytical, and synthetical. Piner describes Carrere as autobiographical or biographical, and these are the four steps. The regressive, in the regressive moment, one's lived experience becomes the data source. To generate data, a person must refer to the past and transform their memory. Regression requires one to return to the past to recapture it as if it was hovering over the present. In the progressive moment, moment one looks towards what is not yet present, what is not yet the case, and imagines possible futures. The analytical moment involves a person distancing him or herself from the past and asking, how is the future present in the past, the past in the future, and the present in both? The synthetical moment brings it all together as one re-enters the lived present and interrogates its meaning. In the regressive stage, the goals are to go back into the past and think about what the person has done. You do not have to try to interpret or understand the past. The benefits may help one break away conscious or unconscious habits and reveal how the past may have influenced the present. Questions you may ask as you write your autobiographical critique are, what were my educational experiences like in my school setting among my teachers and the type of parental support you may have had? In the progressive stage, the goals are to think about what may happen in the present future. The benefits are that a person can focus on what is important to him or her and see how it influences their present or future state. It may also provide a glimpse of what the future can hold. Questions you may ask are what type of future will my present situation lead me to? What will my educational responsibilities be, career goals, my personal responsibilities? What type of setting will I be in? What individuals will I work with? In the analytical stage, the goals are to describe the present, the past, and the future. 
The benefits of this stage are to see a relationship between the present, the past, and the potential future. And questions you may ask are, what is my current situation, past and present situations? How are they intertwined? Is one experience influenced or related to another? In the synthetical stage, the goals are that the individual looks deeply at him or herself, recognizes interests, how specific tasks are done, and what is wanted in the future. The benefits of this stage is that one will be better able to evaluate his or her life and realize how they have influenced the lives of others. It will also better prepare them to handle the future. Questions include, how have all these experiences shaped me as an individual? My choices, interpersonal relations, biases, preconceived notions, personal interests, goals, and decisions. And this slide just shows you the cycle of Carrere and the benefits of engaging in the process. There are four main benefits. When teachers are willing to begin the process of transformation of Carrere, it allows the following. Number one, Carreri allows educators to develop a collaborative autobiography. The idea is to create narratives from which one can learn about teaching, but not in the sense of definitive lessons. As Steenberg 2005 writes, reflective narratives are not intended to, off intended to offer final or complete renderings of the self as a subject. Instead, they provide opportunities to theorize a particular moment, dialogue with it, and examine possibilities for change. Collaborative autobiography allows individuals to understand their lives via a community that values self-understanding but acts towards a future that is collective. With collective autobiography, however, it must be understood that the individual involved in the collective must be able to step away and examine the situation and its meaning. And these take place in the analytical and synthetical stages. Number two. Carreri provides teachers with a capacity to gain voice as individuals within or even against the system. Finding, word, finding the words, speaking for oneself, and feeling heard by others are all part of the process. This voice can then be used to implement transformative change in response to individual student needs. When individuals understand their own voice, they can help students find their voice. It cannot be assumed that teachers will just be granted a voice. Carreri allows educators to the understanding to understand that the personal practical knowledge which guides their everyday work as educators. Through critical examination and understanding and an understanding of what that knowledge which has a guiding power in teachers' lives and work will help them feel empowered and lead towards transformative change. Teachers become more than tools of others and are now able to understand the effects of their actions in relation to the world around them. They begin to understand that they have power within the system to transform rather than simply adjust. To gain this power, however, there needs to be an awareness of how the system has shaped their lives and their consciousness. The only way to gain this understanding is through an examination of narratives that are influencing these actions consciously and subconsciously. 4. Carreri provides a connection of the public and private spaces of teachers. In the Carreri method, public and private institution and individual, abstract and con concrete are all interconnected. The examination of personal narratives creates a connection between private and public that is missing within the current fragmented education system. The rejoining of two selves within a model of autobiography leads to a deeper sense of understanding through connectivity. It leads towards a fuller examination of self. Most importantly, the method of Carrere is based upon the desire to change.
was that okay?